We are live. It's Chris and Brian here from Resolve Technology with some breaking news. This came out September 30th. It's on one of the Microsoft 365 blogs directly from Microsoft. This was a bit of a stunner for me, Chris, because th this is something that Microsoft has been getting away from. And most software companies have been getting away from buying once your software once, and they've moved to a subscription model, most companies that we're dealing with nowadays. So Microsoft is backtracked and it looks like they have something called Office 2024 coming out. Now, before you would buy like once a year, you'd get a subscription as a home user or a home and business user, they call it, right? If you're a micro business, for example, you're very small, you, you would just get the yearly they made they, they gave you a price break basically for our business clients. We still recommend Microsoft 365. Here's why we, I, I we typically don't like this idea because what happens is some clients, basically like the old days, box software, they'll try to run it until the wheels fall off and it doesn't no longer gets updates anymore. I don't know if it says here in the article when, you know, this thing will stop giving updates. Let's say it's three to five years or whatever that this lasts. Okay. You can do the math and figure out what's good for your small business, but I like the idea of having options. But what was nice about if you're in a subscription model, you don't have to worry about oh, I have to buy it again so I can keep my software up to date because every month you had updates coming, right? And you're paying per month or once per year and then you're going to get the ups updates constantly, which makes it easier for your IT people and things like that in terms of security, right? Because you don't want to buy this Office 2024 and then hold on to it for 10 years and find out that you're woefully behind on all the updates. Things start to break. They don't work. And then your machine gets hacked into because you can't can no longer do security updates. I don't know if I like this. This is a bit of backtracking for Microsoft. This seems like maybe a way for them to boost up the revenue numbers temporarily. I, I don't know. What do you think, Chris? Yeah. Whenever you run into this, you can there's people that I think it was the 2021 edition when the last they get a gray market license key, so they pay less. They don't like the annual subscription, or even if they do a month. Here's the thing: employees leave. You have to offboard and onboard, even small businesses, right? So if you buy this outright, you're not going to get your money back, at least with the month to month license, you suffer with it for a month. And if they leave within that month, you just do, you don't renew it. It's a little more flexible on people coming and going. That's a good point. But I guess if you're a micro business, you don't have a lot of people coming and going. There's a lot of businesses out there that their headcount doesn't really change, right? It's been like that the same for many years. That's what this is really geared to. It's not geared to your 25 person company, 50 person company or more. Like you don't really want to do this. You want to just stay in the subscription model. So like they have a good graphic here, right? Of what this is what we write apps for enterprise or business. That's everything. It looks like it's going to get this LTSC standard. That link you sent me for Office 2024, it'd fall under that. They mention it's only the class classic versions of the app. So we have Teams, we have Outlook. I think even Word and Excel is a modern version of the app. So this, they're not going to be able to go to that with this version. Yeah, I don't know. We'll sift out more of this and we'll have another update video as we get more information. But this really caught me off guard because I just stumbled upon it and I'm like, wait a minute, why are they doing that all of a sudden? Because for many years, we had to deal with listening to clients say, why do we have to pay a monthly fee? And we finally got them over that hump and now Microsoft is backtracking. But I, well, I guess that's typical. The last thing I got is they are saying it's for consumers, but that doesn't stop people from using Windows Home and all this other stuff in production environment. Yeah, it was like they had this old version though too. If you look here in the text, it says home and business, right? So they add the business part of it. So it was huh. really designed for the really small offices. So you can legally use it as a business. It says right there, out, plus Outlook and the right rights to use the apps for commercial purposes. So yeah, they are you know, leading you on to that. Yeah. This, is, this is for the tiny businesses that aren't really growing, right? Because your headcount isn't growing. Like you said, people aren't coming and going because if people are aren't coming and going, it's nice to have flexibility a month like we offer a month. Yeah. And if you want a discount, you can lock in for the year. We'll give you a discount. Yeah. Just it just seems like a little bit of backtracking, but I guess options are good. All right, Chris, yeah. we'll talk to you later. All right. Bye. Bye.